can we find the Fourier series of a function which is only given between 0 and L? For a Fourier series we need a periodic function given between say minus L and L and then continue it periodically with period 2L. So if our function is only specified between 0 and L, we first need to define a new function, which is the original function from 0 to L, and something else from minus L to 0, and then we can extend this function periodically and determine the Fourier series of this new function. This series will depend on the choice we made in the first step, so we will get different Fourier series. However, between 0 and L, all these series will converge to our original function f of x. So how do we make this choice? In this video you will see two common extensions, the even and odd extensions, and you will learn why these extensions are often used. So we have some function given, but only between 0 and l, then first we have to extend it in some way between minus l and l, and then after that we can just extend periodically, so make copies from the function we have between minus l and uh, l and just place all the copies after each other. So the second step is uh, trivial. But what about the first one? So a common extension is for example the even extension. So you take f of x, the normal f of x between 0 and l, and then you say between minus l and 0 I take f of minus x. So then I get an even function, and that's why this is called the even extension of f of x. We can also make an odd extension of f of x, so again we have f of x between 0 and l, and then we take minus f of uh, minus x uh, in order to get our function between minus l and 0. Or we can still do something completely different, so we start with our f of x, and we just set it to 0 between minus l uh, and 0. That's also a way to extend our function f of x, uh, but much less used, although it appears to be easier. So how does this look? So suppose we have some function uh, uh, f of x, something like this. Uh, how do we find an even extension? Now, then we make an even function out of it, so we basically mirror in the y-axis, so there we go, there we have our even extension. And then you can continue this, uh, this pattern periodically, so you get something like this and, and so on and so forth. And what about the odd extension? Again, we have our function between 0 and L, something like this again. How do we make the odd extension? Now then we turn this, uh, this into an odd function, oh, like this. Now we have our odd extension, and then, of course, continue periodically. So there we have our odd extension. And the third one would just be uh, take our f of x and put it to 0, uh, between minus l and 0, so that's a bit silly. So which one to use and why? What would well, if we use an even extension, then our function between minus l and l will be uh, even, and our Fourier series will have only a ends, only the a ends are then non-zero. If we use an odd extension, we will also get a Fourier series of f of x, but now only the uh, a n are non uh, only the b n are non zero and all the a n's are zero. So we can get a Fourier series of f of x in the first case uh, with only a n's and cosine terms, and in the second case with only b n's and sine terms. And the third extension we can do that this as well, but then we will get both a n and b n. However, in all these cases, all these three Fourier series will